We are standing in the atrium of this beautiful church in Bellingham, Washington, in front of May You Be Touched by the Spirit, this wonderful stained glass piece. And as a Christian community, we know the importance of having that Holy Spirit in us and through us. And but what does it mean to you? Well, when I hear that, I think about the fact that, first of all, we have already been touched by the Spirit. The Spirit comes to us through God's Word, through the sacraments. He brings us to life. And as we hear that phrase, in many ways, I think it's a prayer. A prayer that we allow the Holy Spirit to continue to work in us. Now, I think about also when we talk about the Spirit and being touched by Him. I think about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, Kim, summer is a wonderful time where we're able to eat fruit. Mm -hmm. We're able to eat the vegetables out of the garden. Mm -hmm. What comes to your mind as you think about the food that we eat, but also the fruit of the Spirit? Where else can we find love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, if it not be through the Spirit? Because those things don't come naturally to me. I'm not always so kind, and I'm certainly not always good. But through the Holy Spirit, I can, I can accomplish so much more. Yes. It's easy to grow impatient. It's easy to grow angry and upset with others. Uh, but that's why maybe being touched by the Spirit is, hey, God, please be with us today so that as we live our lives and as we grow, it's not in a bad way, but in a good way, being touched by the Spirit. And so that is a prayer that we pray. Uh, God, continue to increase our faith, our love, our joy, our patience, our steadfastness, our self-control. And it's also our prayer for you. Have a wonderful day.